Happy New Year and Happy Homesteading, home home y'all. That was not together at all. <laughs> Hey y'all, I wanted to show you a little bit about what was going on in our greenhouse. So it's um, January of a new year, so happy new year to y'all. And I have a heater on in my greenhouse with a heat lamp. And I planted some marigolds last year that I wanted to let grow up. And basically this is, my purpose for these were to go to seed. So I have fresh seed that will be planted just as soon as they go to seed because I want these to go in with a lot of the things that we plant for spring um, as companion plants, um, mostly tomatoes. So that was kind of the purpose of those. Also, my sage, I have my sage inside and they are doing very well. I have carpet rosemary back here. And I have also kept that indoors in my greenhouse. And then y'all can see my lavender up top. But I also wanted to show you my lemon plant because I think the last time Colby showed it to y'all is when he was out here and um, <clears throat> it had lots of lemons but they had not turned yellow yet. So as you can see, lots of my lemons have turned and they're many, they're like, you know quarter size but we like to cut those up drop those in our water for extra flavor um sometimes i will drop them in my cleaning I have a spray bottle that i clean with and i will drop them in there just to boost up that cleaning now something that i just noticed on my aloe plant that i'm gonna have to go inside and look up this aloe you can see i have lots of aloe plants down here and they're all beautiful I made all of these and you can see I need I really really need to split this off because each one of these groups is is babies what they call babies so I can actually split those off and make all of those new aloe plants now this is my mother aloe plant and look I'm thinking that it's trying to go to seed I've never heard of that because aloe plants I've always divided from the mother plant but this is very interesting and this is my mother aloe so i am going to be looking that up and seeing what she is doing because i don't want her to go to seed and if i can stop it i'm going to try to stop it so i'm actually just going to go do my research and see what i can do because i don't want her to go to seed and die but I do need to get those babies out. And that probably will be mid-February chore is to divide those off. And also, while I'm in the greenhouse, I have strawberry blooms already. So those are my buckets of strawberries that I keep in the greenhouse. So I've watered everything. Those things needed to be watered, and I wanted to show y'all what was going on in the greenhouse while I was out here. I don't get to come out and spend as much time as I would like. Greenhouse is my thing. Love to be out there in the greenhouse planting stuff and babying stuff. But since we've had Jennings, that has been near impossible because he only allows me to go out when he's asleep. And now that he's growing up, older well his naps have never been long honestly but now he's growing older getting close to one and a half he really doesn't even we got yesterday he didn't even nap so today he might not nap either which i went out and picked greens today so i made aiden babysit long enough for me to go out pick greens and water the greenhouse and that's about all the time that i usually get so 
Hey. Just... hey. <laughs> <laughs> Today I want to show you the process of doing what's called burping your kombucha. So you can see, and I'm not sure how well you can see it, but the pressure has built up in this jar. Now this has actually only been um, stored on my counter for a day. So I poured this up and bottled it yesterday. I think Harley was playing with my jars this morning and already burped on once. But because I felt this little arch, I want to relieve a little bit of pressure off and I've, I've already done... I've already done the two that are back there. So you see this fizzing at the top. Now this right here is not as much fizz as it's just trying to create, um, if I let this go, it would just make another SCOBY. So pressure will build up in these. Um, and the first, I've mentioned to y'all this a little bit before, the first batch I did, I don't think I had a good seal on my jar. So I didn't have a good airtight seal and I did not get a, a lot of carbonation on my batch. I let it sit out for two days and it just was not good carbonation. My next batch was a very, very good carbonation. Actually, I put a few in the refrigerator and put a few more back on the shelf just so that we could drink and then leave the rest of them um, to get better carbonation. When I opened them up, it spewed like you shook a bottle and took the top off and it was going out everywhere. So it's important to just release, you can see that coming up, you just to release some pressure off of your jars and then you want to put that cap back on tight now because this has only been one day i want to leave mine on the counter so that's the only thing that i'm doing oh i just mixed up the ones i brought over here this was not one of the ones that i did so this one is not air pushed up too much but i do want to go ahead and relieve some of this pressure off And you can see what it's doing. That's perfect. That's perfect. All right, this one needs to be, needs some relief. I can feel that lid, it's not flat. It's kind of arched up a little bit. So I wanna just relief, just a little bit of pressure off of them. And that is doing what's called burping your kombucha. And you can see that one would have come out had I, got the top all the way off so it's just that easy you see that I have several jars here and you do want to relieve pressure off of your kombucha once it's bottled um, so that you don't have a really big mess in your kitchen after several days so that's all it is to it All right, just ended a great supper and some lovely dessert. I ate too much. It does have sugar in it, sorry. It was pretty good. We're bringing in a new year. That's right. So what are we supposed to go do? Cheese and fireworks. Woo -hoo!